dear students i welcome you all for this screencast lecture about mycorrhiza this one is an introductory lecture which mainly says what is mycorrhiza where it occur what is its relationship there with the plant system how it is more useful there in the survival of the plant system first we will try to understand the meaning for mycorrhiza it has been derived from a greek word mycus meaning fungus and the another word rhiza stands for root so in short it refers to fungus root the term was coined by frank he technically describes a mycorrhizal relationship as ability of certain plants to establish a symbiotic relationship there with the fungal mycelium that helps in their living and survival in the soil system now we try to understand what is their symbiotic interrelationship that have been existing between the fungal partner as well as the plant system primarily the plant supplies the photosynthetically fixed carbon to the fungal partner that is plant can fix atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon that cell carbon will be used for various purposes apart from that more than 60 to 70 percentage of the fixed carbon can be reaching out the soil system through root exudates so those root exudates can act as a carbon source and support this fungus there in the rhizosphere region the next one plant is the place in which the fungi is been growing on that basis plant acts as a shelter that is house for the fungal partner to multiply now let us see what are all nutritionally given by fungi to the plant system the primary function is the increase the source of soil phosphorus that could be created by some special mycelium that is produced by the mycorrhiza which are technically referred as a foraging mycelium they help in taking the phosphorus from other regions and mobilizing that to the plant system in this way some mycorrhizal colonization and their associations become very much important for the plant to live and survive a clear example is the bluebell plant say this is the bluebell plant which commonly grows there in the northwestern region of the spain this plants essentially require mycorrhizal associations there in their roots for their survival so it has been referred specifically as some group of fungi that is arbuscular mycorrhiza can penetrate there into the root cells thereby it expands the effective rooting regions of the plant system that is the plant system root regions will be increased due to the mycorrhizal association that could help in effective foraging of the phosphorus and other nutrient there for the plant system such as a bluebell another point is this mycorrhizal association could help in taking the water there for the plant system and that could help in survival on the critical stages of the water shortage but for this a very little scientific evidence alone is available the next one is association of arbuscular mycorrhiza with certain plants which contains fibrous root system such as grasses could help this particular plants to survive under certain pathogenic fungal infection that is the fungal association increases the resistance of the plants towards pathogenic fungi infection invasion as well as colonization the reason is it will be already colonizing there in the root region as a result no pathogen can able to colonize or invade there in the root system of the plant this is an interesting diagram that explains about the different kinds of mycorrhiza that could be available there in the natural systems they could be of an endomycorrhiza or technically referred as a arbuscular mycorrhiza they may be of an ectomycorrhiza or technically referred as a sheathing mycorrhiza and apart from that ericoid mycorrhiza is another group of mycorrhiza then orchid mycorrhiza which mainly able to colonize there in the orchidaceous plants in the orchidaceous plants the seeds will be very small so mycorrhizal associations are very important for their epiphytic survival of these plants then comes the next one of arbutoid mycorrhiza and the last one is of a monotropoid mycorrhiza if you critically look at this diagram you can able to see which fungi type and in which kind of plants this association have been noticed say 
endomycorrhiza or arbuscular mycorrhiza are of two types arm type as well as paris type and this fungi mainly belonging to the group of zygomycetes and glomeruli they can able to find distributed in most of the land plants here nutritionally what are the things that have been provided here as usual plants will be providing mainly shelter as well as carbon for the mycorrhiza that is carbon is coming out there from the root hairs as a root exudation whereas fungi on their association can able to provide lot of nutrients there that is phosphorus mobilization nitrogen potassium even zinc could be mobilized and made available there into the plant system if you look at into the next category that is ectomycorrhiza or sheathing mycorrhiza which is commonly come across there in the forest trees fungi that comes under this particular category are basidiomyces fungi as well as ascomyces which commonly form the ectomycorrhizal association plants belonging to the family of pineaceae phagaceae are all commonly getting infected there by the ectomycorrhiza again here carbon will be supplied by the plant system whereas nitrogen mineralization and phosphorus mobilization and availability could be increased there by the type of mycorrhizal association here in this diagrams are all what that have been shown there in a mild red color refers to the mycorrhizal association say for example here if you look at into the ectomycorrhiza it forms into a sheath kind of thing there on the surface of the root that is the reason it has been referred there as a sheathing mycorrhiza we look at the other groups of mycorrhiza also ericoid mycorrhiza will be commonly able to colonize the plants that comes under the ericaceae family and the fungi involved in this association is ascomycetes whereas arcidiceous mycorrhiza are mainly belonging to the fungi that comes under basidiomyces as well as rhizotenia they will be mainly colonizing the orchid plants again the nutritional interrelationship have been explained there in the diagram also the next one is arbutoid mycorrhiza it's again a sheathing group of mycorrhiza which mainly able to colonize there and the ericaceous plants and their nutritional relationship is same and the final one of a sheathing mycorrhiza is a monotropoid mycorrhiza it mainly able to colonize the plants that comes under the monotropism next we will try to compare about the different kinds of mycorrhiza in a little bit detailed way the first and important one is arbuscular mycorrhiza previously it is referred as a vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza it can able to form the association within the cortical cells as a inter and intracellular occurrences inside the plant system the plants are hosts that support this particular mycorrhiza includes bryophytes pteridophytes some gymnosperms and many kinds of angiosperms also fungal kingdom or family or genera to which this mycorrhiza belongs are zygomyces and glomeromycota example for genus that comes under this particular glomeromycota is glomus and other arbuscular mycorrhiza includes endogon acalospora and gigaspora characteristic structures that could be resulted there when you are microscopically observing this particular mycorrhiza are arbuscule that is formation of some special structures called arbuscules vesicles and axillary cells as i already told there is very less chances for successfully identifying a vesicle that is the reason why the old name of vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza is now changed into arbuscular mycorrhiza their functions is mainly the nutrient uptake as well as soil aggregation say they can able to produce certain special polysaccharides such as glomeruli say glomus is a arbuscular mycorrhiza that can able to form a substance called glomeruli that helps in soil aggregation next one is a ericaceous mycorrhiza which commonly belonging to the plants that comes under ericale order as well as monotropaceae family here the fungi partner mainly belongs to ascomyces basidiomyces say for example under basidiomyces hymenoscypus as well as oidodendron are a classical examples there and their characteristic structures include hyphae formation within the cell and sometimes a mantle and net like appearance could be resulted due to the hyphal growth their function as usual the nutrient supply as well as mineralization of the organic matter the next one is a arcidiceous mycorrhiza as i already told it is mainly associated there with the 
plants called orchids that is the reason it is referred as a orchidaceous mycorrhiza they belonging to the fungi basidomyces a classical example is a rhizotemia they can able to form hyphal coils this hyphal coil is the one that have been already shown there in the previous diagram when you look at there into the orchid mycorrhiza and if you look at the specific functions of the orchid mycorrhiza they supply carbon as i already told the orchid seeds are very small they may not have reserved carbon for their germination so carbon itself supplied there with the help of mycorrhizal association in turn they also supply certain vitamin for the growing embryo of the plants the last one is ectomycorrhiza it is mainly forming in between the corticals and mostly intercellular say if you look at the endomycorrhiza that is within corticals and it is of a inter and intra whereas here it is only of a intercellular in nature it occurs mainly in the gymnosperms and angiosperms and they are mainly restricted towards the woody plants that belong to the family pinaceae fagaceae myrtaceae and dipterocarpaceae the fungi belongs here to basidomyces and ascomyces and few belong to zygomyces also some of the general examples of ectomycorrhiza are amanita bolitus and physolitus they commonly exhibit hardy net formation further formation of mantle over the root surface and production of certain special structures called as a rhizomorphs which could be easily identified through microscope again they play a role there in the nutrient uptake mineralization of the organic matter and they produce lot of polysaccharide substances which can able to cause the soil aggregation and this ectomycorrhiza is the one which would be commonly occurring there in the forest trees alone the next one is arbutoid as well as monotropoid group of mycorrhiza it mainly comes under the angiosperms plants which belongs to the family ericaceae as well as monotropoidy they belong to basidomyces of rhizophogon as well as genera seulus in addition to hardy net intracellular hyphal complexes could be formed there in this group of mycorrhiza this hardy net formation is also can be noticed there in the ectomycorrhiza and this is also a kind of ectomycorrhiza only again they can able to supply carbon there for the plant system and the last category what here we are seeing is belong to dog septate endophytes they are not mycorrhiza they are non mycorrhizal root endophytes that could be come across there in the plant system they are found associated with the diverse angiosperm plants they belong to fungi of ascomycetes the genera includes chlorodium phyllocephala and phyllophora when this non mycorrhizal group of fungi is found associated there with the plant system a lot of microsclerotia could be noticed there on the root surface and deposition of melanin there in the fungal cell walls can also be easily visualized by microscope this non mycorrhizal fungi commonly occurs there in the plants under nutrition limited conditions and it is also assumed that they can able to perform a nutritional enhancement status there in the plants that is it can able to improve the nutrient status as well as the plant growth under nutrient limited condition of the soil